Tell us, is it safe to have sex during pregnancy? <gasps> today, all new on Quetcho Global, my guest for today is a trained, certified midwife who is very passionate about maternal and child health. We're going to hear more today. You're going to be educated. And she herself is on a journey in educating pregnant women and wives. Right, welcome to Quetcho Global. Thank you. Now, tell us a little bit about you. I'm sure my people don't know who you are. <laughs> I am midwife Ajo. I, I am very passionate about maternal and child health. That's the more reason why I educate pregnant women on pregnancy. I teach them about what to expect when they go into labor. I teach them about breastfeeding and I'm very passionate about family planning. So that's the main thing I'm doing now. I work in a hospital and that's a part-time thing I do because I'm passionate about it. Awesome, awesome. And she has a YouTube channel. I'll put the yeah. link in the description. Please do well for the women, the pregnant women. Please do well to subscribe to her channel. Now, tell us, is it safe to have sex during pregnancy? Sex is a very controversial issue. During pregnancy, it is safe to have sex. Actually, your baby is protected. Your baby is shielded by the amniotic fluid and the uterus itself but some people have complications people with issues with placenta people that have ever had a uh, preterm labor you are likely not to you your care provider will tell you not to have sex and if you are bleeding you shouldn't have sex when you are bleeding when your amniotic fluid is leaking you shouldn't have sex because when you do that it means you are introducing infection to the baby apart from any kind of complication in pregnancy, it is safe to have sex. Okay, you mentioned something about bleeding. Yes, please. Can you throw more light on what you mean by bleeding? First? So bleeding, bleeding, no pregnant woman is supposed to bleed. Mm -hmm. So when you start bleeding, it's an issue because after, when you get pregnant, you stop menstruating. So most of the times they bleed because they have placental issues. When I say placenta issues, I'm trying to say that maybe you have a placenta previa, mm -hmm. which means that it's the placenta that is, um, how do I say it, would want to be delivered first, which is an abnormality of the placenta. Mm -hmm. But you are, so you are advised not to have sex. That's the main thing for them. So when you are having any kind of bleeding, please don't have sex. And when your amniotic fluid is, is leaking, you realize that you, like, the fluid is coming up, please don't have sex and you've had issues with cervix, yeah, like your cervix is not, uh, how will I say it? You've had issues with preterm labor. Your time doesn't get, it doesn't get to your time before you give birth. Please, you are not advised to have sex. Now, you've mentioned quite some few things. Yes, which please. I think they would want to know what it truly means. That's fine. Well, from my, from a lame man on my side, preterm labor is something I'm not sure I am aware of. <laughs> That's fine. Can you throw light on that for us as well? Okay, so preterm labor, so every woman is supposed to carry pregnancy to about 38, 40 weeks. Mm -hmm. If it will come at 37 weeks, it's a good, it's a healthy baby. Mm. If it's 36 weeks, it's a healthy baby, Looking dep depending on the weight of the baby. So when you realize that your babies don't get to term, term is 38 to 40 weeks. If your pregnancy doesn't get there, most people have cervical incompetence, that's the word. So if your service is not competent, you, you'll be advised not to have sex and it's so important. I've, I've met people that have had several miscarriages. Mm. They don't have sex. I, I have one patient, fortunately, she's had a lot of miscarriages and by the grace of God, she has a child now. And they had to do a lot of things to make sure that the service doesn't open again. We call it circlage. Like, just follow my channel, we'll get you more exactly. educated on exactly. all those things. Exactly. Yeah. So, from your best of advice, yeah. it's good to have sex yes, please. when the person is pregnant. Yes, please. And, and once the person is pregnant, I mean, if you're having sex, that should bring in some damages here or there. Can you share some things with us that we can do to give some protection or some safety measures in if the person is having sex? Can you put in some safety measures? Even um, most people during pregnancy, they are libido reducers. Okay. And some people have high libido. So okay. everyone is so unique. So when you get to know yourself, mm. there's a research that says that even breast stimulation mm. and um, like sex would let you go into labor. Wow. 
So, like, when you get to, that's why we don't want anyone that is having a preterm labor to have sex. Like, you've had a preterm labor before, yeah. we don't want you to have sex because we don't want you to go into labor early because research says there's this, um, let me not mention the name because it's like a big name medically. Okay. Okay. There's this, um, how would I say, um, um, <laughs> or maybe you can mention the name. <laughs> okay, prostaglidins that's found in the semen. Okay. It's able to make the woman have contractions. Okay. And when you start having uterine contractions, it means you are going into labor. Yeah. So that's the more reason why people that have peculiar issues are told not to have sex. Okay, so once the person is pregnant, mm -hmm. they must know themselves whether they have high libido or low libido. Yes, and please. They must be able to check the things that are appropriate to know whether they are allowed to have sex or not. Yes, please. So we'll get to know all those things by doing scan. Okay. Would you imagine I met a lady today? She's carrying twins. Mm. She's not been to the hospital before. Wow. I was telling her to go to the hospital. And she told me a lot of she told me she said she doesn't want to go. I told her we have beautiful people at the hospital. She should come. She said, Oh, she, she won't take any medicine. Wow. And she's in her sixth month. Wow. We want everyone to go to the hospital. We want everyone to seek care. Like we, 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 like there are good people out there. There are good midwives out there. Please change your mindset about us, yeah. and you would get the best. Wow. Yeah, very, he's very, very he's very educated. Sincerely, very I, educated. I had to push her. I took her number. I told her I'll call her if possible. I would have to take her to the hospital myself yeah. because I'm just so passionate about it. And I wanted to ask. Yeah. Sex, as in you are saying, for for uh, for women, we might think it's it's unsafe to do it. Uh, is there is there some maybe position that you can give to them just to prevent anything? Just want to be sure um, the so, babies come out very well. Yeah. I said earlier that the baby is cushioned, okay? So let me say again, baby is in an amniotic fluid in a sac okay. and in the uterus again. Okay. So baby is well protected. Okay. And like when you have sex, you don't get into the cervix. So the cervix is the mat of the uterus. Okay. You are just in the vagina. The vagina after the vagina before it gets to the cervix. Okay. So baby is safe. That's why I'm saying that unless you have a peculiar issue, which will be diagnosed by the scan yeah. and by examination and by the complaints you are given. Yeah. That's how we can be able to diagnose your problems. I want to encourage all of us to go to the hospital when you are pregnant. Don't let anyone deceive you. Like, it's so important you seek medical attention. You'll be given medications. Would you imagine, the lady told me she eats well, and the medications we give you, they are supplements. Okay. They will complement the food you are eating. Okay. So it's so important you seek medical attention. Okay. Very, very. And so coming back to your question, you're talking about positions. Yes. Because it gets to a place, the abdomen becomes bigger. Yeah. There are positions that are advised because, and when you lie on your back more, especially, I did a post, you can, when you follow me, you get them, why you shouldn't lie on your back, especially in your second and third trimester. You should lie more on your left side. The reason is so that there will be more circulation, blood flow and nutrients to the baby. So when you, like, you can't lie on your back when you're having sex during, like, above your second and third trimester okay yes please so the other positions that maybe we could display okay on so, so maybe so you can share two positions with i'm sure maybe they are they are quite aware of those positions okay i think it, there's one side to side that they, they have a name i think it's is it spooning or something like okay. there's a side so, to yes. side uh, yeah i think it's one. spooning yes and there's, then a side. There's, there's the so a pregnant woman, woman is safe to have sex on a doggy style is yes please but you have to put put, uh, put a pillow a on pillow. your abdomen like okay. so that your abdomen is protected then like this thing it shouldn't take long so that you don't stress yourself yes just that's don't good. stress yourself that's good thank you so much for sharing this with us oh, it's, it's you're such welcome. a blessing we truly appreciate it you're welcome thank sir you. thank you for having me <laughs> glad did you know this if you didn't know this go to a channel subscribe to her channel, turn on the notification and get to see every post that she posts about pregnancy and labor. Thanks for watching. If you like this, subscribe to the channel, put on the notification bell to get notified in the next video. Cut.